Hey, hey, everybody. I'm Jeff Pollard at solarpowerthepeople.org and Jeff Pollard 11 on Instagram. We are doing this segment where it's what is new with you? And I'm with Rose. Rose, how's it going? Going good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Now, Rose is a huge advocate for veganism, and uh, she helps promote that lifestyle in a book that she wrote called No Bull, Vegan and Fitness for Beginners. Ah, there it is. And uh, my question to you is, are you still a vegan? And is that book still available? Of course. The only time <laughs> I, won't, I won't be a vegan is if I'm dead. Okay. Vegan until well, I'll probably still be a vegan in the afterlife. <laughs> no, that, that's what I love about Rose is that you check out her uh, pages and all that. And it's just nothing but love, passionate love for the animals and stuff so you know much respect there um so yeah what, what what's new uh, there's a few things but it's been a few years what's new with you and i appreciate you uh even working out as we're doing this this is new this is awesome <laughs> can you see the treadmill not really but we could kind of guess <laughs> yeah i'm on the treadmill i see can you see it if i do this there we go yeah well, now we can see you taking the step <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get my exercise in and talk at the same time sure so what's new Why though what, what change, you up your, change up your interview because i'm sure you, most of the time you're interviewing people and they're sitting it can yeah this this motion helps for sure <laughs> hold on willow wants to say hi oh, he's got uh two dogs which i believe are in the cover of their book he brought the most annoying toy, so we're going to put that over here. Say hi, we all. Say hi. <laughs> all right. Sorry about that. I had to no take worries. that toy, or else it squeaked the whole time. All right. See, what's what's new, Rose? I moved. I went out of Los Angeles. She was from a, a Cali girl to where? To Florida, I'm back. My home, my home. Well, I was born in New York, but Florida's like my home. Very tropical. I love the tropics. I, it was 90 here today. Okay. And I have a pool now, my own pool. I actually have a garden I started. Okay. So eventually I want to teach gardening. Okay. Whole food plant based cooking. I still want to teach that. It's all about time, having so much time for certain things. But yeah, I moved. Awesome. I got so out of there. That's Nine definitely got to be the, that's definitely gotta be the biggest change. Say it again? Oh, I'm sorry. That, that's just got to be the biggest change is a, a move. That's huge. <laughs> it was it was big. I just recently, three months ago, drove across the country with my two dogs and uh I rescued a kitty cat on Christmas. So oh. uh, he's my little man. He's somewhere around. Sure. Very cool. so that's new. I got yeah. a rescue cat. No, um, I mean you you you're showing the love. You you know, that's that's your thing. Now in terms of the, the vegan stuff, now, you know, California can be a little more hippie, but are there a lot of vegans in Florida? <sighs> Well, I'm still really new here. Okay. So there are some vegan places in the area. And it's nothing like Los Angeles is really good for that. Okay. One thing I miss. But hopefully in the next maybe year or so, I'll be opening a little vegan cafe here. Oh, wow. So bringing are the like, vegan. Are locals receptive? Or are they just all about carnivorous lifestyles? I mean, it depends on what area you're in. Okay. It's, it's come to my attention in the last several years that it's just people aren't educated on nutrition. And that's why I'm here to bring in the awareness and the education. Yeah. So. I'm, you know, I'm always like speaking of education. So, you know, I love to know the differences between people in different states and stuff like that. So, it doesn't really have to be about veganism, but like, what are the big changes you might have had to adapt to 
from California living to Florida living, whether it's about the people or just the culture or anything? Anything, any big changes that stuck out? Well, there's a lot of people actually coming here from all areas, California, New York, Chicago. Okay. Uh, they're coming here in Texas. And, you know, in certain areas, they're more like city and built up Tampa and Clearwater and St. Pete. So you have some demographics, all all walks of life, and you have the, the demographics for the vegan life. That's why I picked this area um, over opposed to some other areas that weren't really, like, the vegan culture wasn't there yet. It's getting here. And I hope to bring it more. Yeah, you're you're helping pushing it forward. Uh, may I ask, are you are you in like the northern part of Florida, south, east, west? What area? The Tampa Bay area. Tampa? Did you say that? Okay. Yeah, south. Uh, excuse me. It's uh, west, like middle of the state on the west side. And you've you've uh, you've adapted well. You've got your own pool and all that, so you've been staying fit, obviously, and working working at it. <laughs> still training people. I still do remote clients in Los Angeles. Still working with uh, fitness training, life coaching, nutrition consulting, and promoting my book. Working mm -hmm. possibly on another children's edition and possibly a cookbook straight cookbook that has recipes but i want to do just a complete pictures yeah. of the food this is more illustration yeah um and i did include some recipes just so to get people off to a start so this is beginner so then if i do a cookbook it's just gonna be 100 percent all vegan recipes with like fun pictures of the food, possibly me. People want to see pictures. I don't really want to see you with the food. It's a, okay. It okay. takes a lot of work. So <laughs> that took three years to write that book. So oh, I bet. I, I bet. Um, yeah. So, I, I mean, you got the book, No Bowl. You mentioned how you at some point want to do like a cafe or something. Now we've, we, you know, this is a this is kind of an updated video. So in the YouTube video, you're gonna see our previous talk before, and you can learn all about the No Bowl book. I want to hear about your cafe, and I think you mentioned at one point a rescue farm. Can you tell me the those the two ideas? Like, what are you doing with those? Well, probably I'm not sure which one I'm gonna open first: a gym or a cafe, or maybe both at the same time. But maybe a gym and have like. The juice smoothie acai place next door. Okay. Um, so, because you know, fitness is my passion as well. Uh, so, the rescue farm, that's in the works. Started yeah. to go find me. Another reason why I want to do this interview because I haven't really spoke about that much. I posted a little bit about it. Tiny, sure. tiny on uh, Facebook, I think. The link is in my bio. On Instagram, I just added that recently. And so, to start a nonprofit, and uh, it's going to take a lot of work, but definitely one of my goals in the next few years. Well, Get some forgive, here forgive my ignorance, but like, what will the rescue entail? Is it going to be like a little farm for like what type of animals, or what? What are you trying to accomplish there? All animals. Um, All. So. Farm animals got my heart because they're the most mistreated. So of course, but I would take in it, like domestic animals like uh, cats and dogs, but mostly cows, pigs, chickens, goats. I want to incorporate love and compassion, teach people, teach children. It's sad because people don't really care about animals, but we they don't realize that we're all we're all connected. There's my tree of life here. Nature, animals. We harm that nature and animals. We're harming ourselves. Yeah. So I want to have like teach the children, have them like a little petting area with the animals, education, maybe a bed and breakfast, maybe teach whole food plant-based cooking in one sector, 
have maybe painting and wine with the goats, meditation with the cows, different things incorporate on the farm so you get people there yeah. and you get people interacting and learning about the animals and learning the importance of just being together and how we're here as companions and we're not supposed to be hurting these animals. We're supposed to be, we're all here together. We're not here. They're not here for us. They're here mm -hmm. with us. So yes. we, I have to kind of teach that as best that I possibly can before I leave this planet. That's the goal. Okay. And you can, you know, I'll have the link uh, posted down below and, you know, all links that, you know, to get a hold of Rose and stuff like that. So that's that's a way you can support her by supporting the idea of her rescue farm. You can, you know, I'm sure by getting the No Bull book uh, will help. Um, the links, clicking on that and donating will help. Uh, Rose, this is, you know, I told you this was going to be a, a quicker conversation. So I appreciate your time. Uh, once again, I'm with Rose. You can help her. I said it before, but I'll say it again. No Bull, Vegan, and Fitness for Beginners. Uh, she will publish more in the future. You can also follow her where all the links are that I post. Thank you, Rose, so much. I appreciate talking to you again. You're welcome. You can get the book on Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, and Amazon. And there's a black and white version and a color version. And it's really a game changer. It's, read it. Life change, you're going to feel great spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. Clearly, will change your life. I promise you that. If you have any questions, let me know. Perfect. Thank you so much, Rose. And uh, you're welcome. See you, everybody. Hey, hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have some exciting news. I teamed up with Blue View Shoes. That's a shoe company that makes a 100% biodegradable shoe. That's 100% eco-friendly. I have a pair myself. They're stylish. They're comfortable. They do the job. If you want a pair yourselves, look in the description box for any links or discounts or wherever links are found, depending on where I post this. You'll be helping little guy, that's me, and you'll be helping a company that truly cares. That's Blue View Shoes, a shoe that is 100% biodegradable. Leave only footprints.